Hello my friends and welcome back to Factorio. Yes, last time we had a power crisis, but we seem to have managed to restore that. And uh, now we want to progress towards our goal of um, getting towards a uh, rocket silo to launch to escape from this planet. We're a fair way off that goal. We've got lots of things to build. And um, what I've noticed, if I look on the map here, we've got our resources of copper, iron, coal, etc. And uh, they're slowly running down, running out of, s of supply. We these red marks here are miners, which no longer have any supply of the ore underneath them. So what I thought is, I mean, one of the things all this science stuff, the different coloured red, green science, the blue that we've just built, they all take um, lots of re resource in which to build those recipes towards that science and we're going to need all that science and beyond. Beyond blue we need um, purple and yellow science and the recipes for those get crazy, like feeding in a furnace who, who knew you would have to feed a furnace in to create a science pack? Anyway, yeah, so <clears throat> suffice to say we're going to need a lot more resources, a lot more generation of these uh, red electronics that we built recently. The green electronics in support of those uh, are oil refineries up and running, generating plastic, generating sulfuric acid. We're not really using that anywhere at the moment, but that, as you might have seen in the last video, that's used for batteries. It's also used for uranium processing. So if I zoom out our map, we did some earlier exploration where we identified two uranium sites here. Um, that's a, a later project in a subsequent video. For now, I would well, I am thinking what we could do in this video is uh, we need to try and branch out a bit and gather this iron from here and this copper from here. Um, stone we're not too worried about. Um, it is used in, in the manufacture of nuclear power stations, um, concrete, etc. Uh, quite heavily so we are going to want that but um, we haven't yet researched um, nuclear power uh, we're as you see there we're on with uranium processing I've been doing a lot of research in the background such that if I look at our crafting menu we've got all these highlights here telling me there's something new we can build let's have a look extra potential there in the efficiency and speed modules and the productivity um, oh that's just research so there the centrifuge for uranium processing just appeared over here we've got related to that uranium processing recipe uh, we've got rocket fuel um, that obviously as the name suggests uh, uranium fuel cells yellow science, utility science just been researched um, and we've got all sorts of military or, or related these are sort of personal effects and uh, yeah we would like to be able to build say for example this power armor which we can apply to our character down on his uh, tool set um, because that affords him a, a personal grid where we can stack on things like a, an energy shield, a defensive shield. Uh, in terms of military, we can stack on a, a f you know, personal flamethrower, I think. Personal uh, laser, we haven't researched laser yet, but personal laser turrets. And that's going to be useful if we look on our map. If we did have ambitions to go, say, for this stone, well, there's a biter nest, the native insectoid enemies right there so we might want to consider taking that out before we go for this stone isn't uh, really heavily used so the chances of us needing that are quite slim 
but there's the option. So what I thought we'd do is we'd have some fun and try and prep for this resource gathering by building a little train set. So we've got a train system going here and this is um, this is furnishing for you know our oil crude oil for the refinery <clears throat> it's going to be the harbour for the sulfuric acid distribution and the solid fuel distribution because what we're going to do is we're going to build another train station this is our first one we're going to build another one and decide where to put it. I've got this blueprint down here which is called Inbound Resources. So if I click on that and bring it up onto the map it's quite a large structure and we've got to be there's there's some water we can't obviously build on. Um, but what I'd like to do there's you see four train stations are accommodated in this at the moment. Um, we're going to be using prioritizing ones for iron and copper on this uh, video um, so but one of those is going to be given over for the refueling train so we're not going to pass the the solid fuel directly up to this station we're going to get our little train here to ferry ferry around the solid fuel to this station up here and uh, it's a, a one carriage train we'll, we'll see him hopefully in this video He's a uh, speedy Gonzales, he gets around quickly, so he goes backwards and forwards, stocking up here, sh shipping out the resources where it's needed elsewhere. So, the items, the resources we want to go for, just get rid of that blueprint, um, the iron ore way up north and off to our west, we've got copper, uh, and we can decide which one we want to go for. I think these are suitably distant from the Byton uh, nests here and here and here so as we could sneak in this is our power line we did earlier but we can sneak in and up along here without provoking them we've got more coal there you see hands in that um, <clears throat> and in my experience once we've got um, a remote supply of iron and copper and um, that seems to be sufficient enough to power the base with copper plates iron plates um, such that we can get to our goal at the end we might have two trains going to the same mining site and bringing it back just for that frequency to keep the, the uh, consistent flow but we'll see we'll have to see how it plays out it can vary um, so because we've got our um, re what they called smelter arrays uh, whereby we turn ore into in this case copper ore into copper plates these are smelting arrays um, they're in they're already in place aren't they so we don't necessarily want to build at the site the smelting array and bring the plates back on the train we want to build, bring the ore back and feed it into these same smelting arrays that we've already got so if we look at this where they are situated our smelting arrays they're here for the copper and here for the iron so I, I thought really if we can drop off our resources roughly nearby then and I can just about get away with doing that let's put it there so I've dropped that blueprint we don't see it because I don't have um, radar coverage visibility of there but let's get back to our character in order to uh, build trains we're going to obviously need some we're going to need lots of train track uh, which is up here this is our mall, remember, where it builds stuff for us while we're away. So we're going to need, um, we'll start with, well, we'll gather these five trains that we've pre-built. Uh, we're not going to need fluid wagons. We're going to need uh, f for solid ore. We're going to need regular cargo wagons. Let's see, hopefully we've got several. Um, we're going to have, I think, four on a train. So we'll gather all that you have 
Uh, what else do we need? We need, and they're busy building more because we've taken away their capacity. Train stops. Yep. Too many, don't need that many. And yes, we'll need these rail signals along the track. Let's just top up on those. Here's the uh, signals. Got half of those. We'll <coughs> invariably start building, and we, we'll find we won't have enough, but this will build some more for us while we're away. Now, where's this? Just get plenty. And uh, train tracks. I don't think I need any of this. This. No, that's to do with um, oil. Train tracks. We'll get. All of those, that's a thousand. And uh, do I have them on my toolbar? No. Let's put them back on. Just so for, you know, quick access if we need it. And um, we've got our little uh, nanobots, remember, that are going to help us construct this lot as we go. There you see it's just. Uh, constructing some missing uh, assembly machines as we're going past. So let's get some more of these guys. They'll help us build along the way. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, one crucial thing. Obviously we have to mine the remote site and load and unload the, the iron. So, and I might not have this, I might not have prepped for this well enough. Um, why, why have you only got three? What are you waiting for? Cogs. Why are you waiting for cogs? Ah, I forgot to give you. Can I build... I actually need you to... Feed back into yourself. There we go. The robots have built those from my inventory now. So that's cracking on. Yeah, we're going to need lots and lots of those to optimally fill up the trains. We're going to need boxes. Lots of iron boxes. As, as uh, I've, oh, I've too much wood. What's all this wood doing here? Let's get a... Oh, let's just dump a box here uh, and we're gonna get rid of all that into the box we don't, we don't need it for this adventure I don't need refineries I well no no harm done I don't need these old mines um, oh yeah and we need to top up on transport <coughs> transport belts and splitters. Let's see, we've got 30, just top that up to 50, lots of, uh, not so many underground, let's put some back, um, pressing the wrong button here, sorry, and, but yeah, we need certainly lots of these, um, we're going to have lots of miners over there. So, we need to ferry that material to the inserters, to the boxes, to the trains, and the same at the other end, on, in the opposite direction. Uh, what did I just think then? We've got um, transport, yeah, inserters are building boxes, wasn't it? Uh, we'll take them all. Don't think we need the odd five, but um, there it is. <coughs> Put it back. Uh, see how many inserters we've got. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Let's think. Six twelve, six twelve. We need, I think, twenty four. Or if we have six on a stack, we have inserters on either side. So we, uh, we need about fifty, I think, to be safe. So 
while that's waiting, let's just see what we've got coming up. And the research queue is finished. Uh, we've now got electric furnace options, combat shotgun. I mean, I tend I tend only to use for my my character the machine gun. That's as far as I've ever got. I have never used the shotguns, uh, the rocket launchers, flamethrowers, all these really. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to need portable solar panels to charge the equipment in our personal grid. We need a battery to store that energy, preferably a Mark II battery, it stores a lot more energy. Um, belt immunity, you'll have seen how if I stand on a transport belt it will carry me along in the direction of travel. Uh, sometimes that's, that's useful for getting the way you want to go quickly but sometimes you can be in amongst it here and you're trying to build something here and you keep standing on this and it shifts you along and oh so sometimes yes we want belt immunity uh, exoskeleton yes please that will allow us to uh, you see that increases your movement speed by 30 percent and if you've got a large enough power grid you can have more than one of these and it, it accumulates and stacks we need a personal robo port. Uh, we're eventually going to no longer need these uh, nanobots, the mod edition of bots for early game. We're hopefully sometime in the next video or two going to be able to build the, the core games robots, which are multifunctional. So, and we can carry along, I think 10 to start with, but up to 25 of those that help us build things. Yeah, I think I might have a mod on here I don't intend to have, so I'm not familiar with these. To do with nanobots. Yeah, I didn't use them, don't use them. Don't need those. Not gonna, I'm not going to go with nanobots. I'm going to move and uh, advance towards robots. What else we got? Yeah, so here's our two types of core game robots. Got logistic robots, which as you see there, transports items between logistic chests. So I've talked in the earlier videos about these, these chests here, these boxes, which um, on the blueprint that we have for the model, they are in fact all red. And red chests are these ones, which are passive provider chests. Um, down at the bottom of its information tab it says makes its content available to the logistic network. The logistic network is provided for by the robo port which is a large structure that char both charges hold, you see one here, a ghost of one. So we would build that robo port here and it will have a certain range for logistics that it will highlight an area around and beyond that it'll, it'll have a larger area of coverage for construction the other type of bots being the construction robots so they automatically build and repair friendly entities if i if i plot down a path in map mode for example a transport belt these robots will come out from all over the place and they'll gather what they need the transport belts for example and they'll go and place them down for us that can be quite confusing at times uh, we might see it happen where i'm i'm trying to build uh, a region of uh, transport belts or assembly machines for example and my own personal robots that i'm carrying with me won't build them and i think what's going on well, it's because they've been pre-allocated to robots elsewhere in the logistic network. So it's a bit odd and sometimes that can cause a bit of a weight on the construction of things. But in the main, they're fantastic to have. The yellow uh, logistic chests are the storage chests. That's, as it says, they're long-term storage for the logistic network. Uh, later on, once we've got, a lot later on perhaps, uh, we've researched we have researched yellow science, um, um, but on the research queue, the yellow 
the things that require yellow down here Uh, this is the one I was looking for, sorry, the logistic system and what that does that opens up additional logistic chest types which can be handy. Uh, of those I would be using probably the requester chest, uh, the active provider chest, the buffer chests I have yet really to understand what they are um, but they could be like a temporary drop-off point if you've got a long distance between the manufacture site of an item and a, a, a typical usage location far away you might want a buffer zone in between a halfway house to like a staging post from which the robots can go from here to here and not have to trek all the way back to the mall over here we'll we'll see long long way to go before there We've got um, a Mark II Roboport, etc. to research. So we're not producing any yellow science yet. To do that, we need resources of, you know, a multitude of those. Am I ready for the railway? We've got our railway, we've got our train system elements, carriages. Let's see how these inserters are going these green ones we need right got almost a hundred so happy with that so as a starting point let's get back up up north and uh, we'll uh, see about placing down now oh we placed it down you see the ghost um, you see these multiple fancy can you know constructs of transport belts and that there's lots of splitters lots of lanes and that's all involved with balancing the the feed from the train remember this is the in, <clears throat> the inbound where the trains will arrive and drop off their resources so let's start building just make our way up here are nanobots very grateful for those they are doing their thing we want to prioritize these two this one you see is fill these are I haven't got any filter inserters uh, not too important it just ensures that if a train arrives here by mishap uh, and it's not carrying in this case iron ore the uh, this is all going to be geared towards feeding iron ore down here so we don't want anything else coming in here do we so fil stack filter inserters will filter and grab off the any train that arrives here only iron ore and similarly copper ore there and uh, what's this one I'm probably building too many I'm wasting my resources on the ones I'm not prioritizing yeah I've run out, run out of transport belts we see what what goes on here is the train arrives carriage will settle here offload into the box and the box is there as a uh, storage holding pot because you'll fill up this this lane but you, you'll still have more than you need in storage so while the trains away we've still got a, a store of the item but the the various inserters will then grab from the box put it on this belt that will go down that will go this way and they'll drop onto this lane and then here there's this rather complicated looking series of splitters going underneath each other and around and back up and you think what's this all about why didn't you just feed four lanes to four lanes well you can get an imbalance on these different amounts and you want to you want a fairly even balance here so yeah this is all about balancing that and even evenly distributing the incoming such that you get more or less a, a nice regular average on each one so this is going to be our output to our base somewhere we've got four lanes that we could play with we've got some trains let's see if we can build up this track while we're here so we've got train track and we've got signals along the way you see the direction of the train 
is indicated there that it expects power lines. We'll see how far we can get with this. We've got a, a junction here. Um, we're not going to go that way yet, so that's surplus at the moment. Yeah, the bots are very good. They'll clean up rocks, trees that are in the way as they go. So we'll razz along here. Let them do their thing. And oh yeah, thought they were out then. It settled. There's a, a slight pause. Anyway, cracking on. Another junction. Maybe the one we go outbound on. Let's see. Go down here. So we've got a two-lane transport system for inbound, outbound. Uh, safety having to let, set so many um, lay-bys for trains to get out of each other's way. This is our, like on the other station we've got, this is our holding point. So if a train arrives they'll come in this way. Uh, these signals will tell them if and these types of signals will warn them ahead, ahead of the line which line they're intending to go to. If there's a train already parked there or indeed stuck here for some reason is waiting this these lights will turn red the train will then park up here and wait so it's um, a good arrangement simple arrangement as for uh, managing your trains as they arrive we don't want any crashes this isn't burnout we're not aiming for that kind of fun where we deliberately set up things to fail catastrophically let's see so we've got train tracks to build train stations we can still do those um, so we remember this we need white these stack filter inserters lots and lots of those we're down to three uh, of the regular ones we need lots of uh, transport belts let's go back to our mall Here we are and right so we need in, not yellow sorry red let's see let's see how heavy we are using the usage on the train tracks we had a thousand we're down to uh, less than 300 so we need our inserters back to 50 don't we love automation? As long as it in the future doesn't do us out of work completely. And we need white, the stack filter inserters. Thank you, please. And we're going to need, well, we are going to need miners galore. So we're, we'll gather a few of those. We're going to need these power cables, the medium ones for the miners. <coughs> We just top up on those a bit and uh, we'll get some more train track. Yeah, we'll take as much as we can and uh, let's go and progress that build. Yeah, we want that exoskeleton so we, you know, we can traverse this land more quickly without having to be on the paths. Up here, yep. Yeah. So our bots are building. So now that we've got white inserters, they should put those in place, yep. Yeah. Uh, do we need more? Yeah, we're sorry, missed that. We need more boxes, don't we? Uh, this lane here, by the way, this is our re input for our refueling so the the locomotive the engine of the train will stop here at the train stop it'll just be in the perfect place for this refueling to happen and that goes along along here although it looks like it's a bit out of line on my blueprint let's crack on and get these built
Uh, none of these uh, inserters have power yet. We haven't connected up this station to the main grid. Let's make sure. Sometimes find up the blueprint that I've captured in a, from an early game build where this thing was built manually originally <laughs> uh, is missing the other <laughs> component uh, so here this this would be the feed underground for uh, I'm thinking the refueling train going across all the train stations but it's not on the same row is it if you like same tile set we go across there that lands here not not this one above but we'll worry about the refueling train um, another time. So let's get our train down. What trains have we got? So I've got some trains prepped. They're just a name and a bit of colour uh, that we can tweak to make them suit. So we want. Now remember, I I often confuse. <laughs> the terms copper and iron for some reason um, so here we want copper so we want our copper train we rotate it this way the uh, station is at this end and he snaps snaps two so we plunk him down and the the ghosts of the train will be there and the nanobots take from my inventory and there he is so here he is. Um, look at these random associated names that they generate if we haven't got a given one. We would want to call this inbound copper, sorry, inbound iron, inbound copper, inbound coal, stone, yeah, coal, stone. Uh, and there's no on this train view there's no connection to the outside world here so he he's, he wants to go to inbound copper ore well this should be called inbound copper ore and that would resolve this and then copper mine northwest well that train was obviously sourced when I had a copper mine northwest now I, I would I would kind of just call this west so we're going to build a new mine here and we're going to call it Copper Mine West 1. This might be West 2, it depends which one, you know, we go for first. So let's rename that inbound copper ore. The, st the station that is. So rename it up here. Right. Uh, probably had base in the front. Oh yeah, and we can give them little little symbols, little element emojis, so to speak, of the uh, component, so it's more concrete as to what that is. Just check our train again. It's base hyphen inbound copper ore. Sorry. So that's... Alright. And trains now with this stop. You see it's picked up on that. This is the station telling us it knows about a train that stops here. So this is now resolved. It has a criteria when it arrives here to empty its cargo before it might move on. Probably need to tweak that a bit. Um, tend to leave that, oh, rather have that as an and criteria and say allow, I don't know, an average I go for something like 75 seconds. So you'll empty your cargo pretty quickly with all these inserters. Um, but then we don't want it to set off immediately back to the deposit here. They won't have had a chance to restock. Um, and we don't need it that quickly. So let's uh, give them some time. Let's get some power up here, shall we? 
go with a uh, and we'll just head down here and see what we hook up with drop that there so now we've got power going up to our train line at least that one so we should see yeah they've stopped flashing now they've got power this train is flashing it's not got any fuel we go to its fuel tab we would plunk stuff there it can accept wood coal rocket fuel solid fuel nuclear fuel um, I tend to go for solid fuel but we don't have that provision yet and that would be in our feed of our little train ferrying that backwards and forwards I'll give it coal for now and then we can get in this train we get near it it's not on any schedule at the moment so we stand next to it and we press enter and then with my direction keys forwards us and we're on the move so you see the traffic signals changing as we go past so for subsequent trains on that line to heed let's see and I want to go left I'll just hold left on my keyboard and we'll go down here and then we'll think about extending this line we can kind of get the robots that we've got to build from well from us within the train just make sure I've got and I probably don't have enough nanobots um, let me just grab another blueprint sorry this one is a key one So this one is comprised of a dual track and uh, where it connects with an intersection here we have to be a bit careful but uh, I'll hold shift and then the, that tree is in the way you see there where it's gone red put it here I want to overlap this current track and then it blends in nicely with the current track hold shift and that will tell the robots to go and destroy that tree and then put the track down let's go here we go and as they're doing I move along so this can be a bit depends how responsive and fast the robots can be but the train will stop if it hits that buttress at the end and then we want to think about where we're going so let's get on our map we're gonna go for what should we go for first this is the inbound not what do we want to go for, what have we structured and what should we be going for it's the copper so yeah okay we'll go let's go straight across put another uh, so when, once we're away from the intersection what we can do is overlap these tracks such that we overlap the uh, pile on there and that's the ideal spot for that and then we don't get any sort of nasty duplication I'll just go ahead and do another and then I'm back to character control move the train on here we go so the trains in this game we don't always drive them we can use them to ride around to get to the far reaches if we so wish I would need to go up to a remote station for some reason we can hop on a train that's at a station and either wait for it scheduled leaving or provoke it to uh, go now at our whim um, but they're automated really um, they're, built, they're bringing us resources and we're here to construct things aren't we and get things going so they can happily move along and do their own thing but they're fun to watch um, And they do a nice little job for us of bringing those remote resources. So we like them. Where are we? In our map. Let's see. We can we can bear to have another couple, I think. Move along. So 
see the train count in my inventory going down as the robots place them, the nanobots. Uh, once you get the um, core games bots, robots, you can increase their speed and their, their cargo hold so they can carry more items. Don't have to come back to your inventory as often. Um, and they're not expendable. These nanobots uh, diminish, they get used up, uh, whereas the other robots don't. They just have to come back to you and recharge from your solar panel array their supply of electricity. Let's the, see now where are we? So we're here at the uh, topmost copper mine uh, and what we'll do just before we decide where to branch off from this down here or here is I've got a blueprint, got a couple of options. I've got a typical kind of I called it quick grab. I just took a blueprint of a an existing station I had set up, so it encompasses the miners, the the uh, loading bay, the intersection off the main line, and the the quick in this case the quick loop around. So let's see if that will suffice, shall we? So we could bring that up on here. Um, that's a large my uh, deposit of copper. So we rotate this, can choose the best place that suits. Nothing really does it, but that doesn't matter, we can adapt it. Let's think where we're at. we are in terms of biters. Where does that bring us? Yeah, that's... We might go with... What I, what I want to do is make sure it gives me the... Uh, this complex loading station really and I can worry about the train line itself I think we're clear in terms of distance of that bite and down here is it it's quite a way I'm, I'm zoomed out there uh, let's see let's put it let's put it we'll shift click plunk that down and then we'll get off the train get back to our character go down I'll just turn the bots off a minute and they're gonna run out soon anyway because this position isn't ideal is it the so we're gonna clear that right click just paint over that so to speak um, and possibly this they are quite complex, but this intersection and the positioning of these signals is critical. So I do tend to have the blueprint and let the bots do the rest. But I've got a separate intersection uh, model somewhere. I didn't put it on my bar yet, excuse me a sec. Intersection see got that correct because I had to tweak it somewhat to get the uh, <laughs> get the signals in the right place for it to be valid otherwise the trains say I've you know they've no valid path to get to where you're trying to send me and that's just all about the critical line you put down and the, the signal the gates ah oh, there's a train here what's this this is our don't need that. I'm going to send the train here. So I might just use these last seven bots to build this area. Mm, tab. Just easier for me. And they're out. Rather than me build that, I, I'm probably going to knit back to the base. But this is going to be our copper mine west one. See how many miners we can put on here, this vast resource here. That's really going to fill up four lanes. Back to our train. 
and because we don't have a loop around I'm gonna I'm just gonna reverse it and yeah I always in reversing when we get to an intersection you'll see me just take a wrong turn I'm steering with a mirror basically and it I, I never know which key to press to go that way this way when we're going in reverse if you've got a simple algorithm logic rule for that feel free to tell me what it is so let's go as far as here and then we can go forward so that's okay I can go here and I can nip down to the left down onto our what would be the and as we go here see the the lights on the uh, signals change we're, we're choosing this lane so this one's gone this one's gone red as we cross this path these will go red so we don't cause a crash at this junction and we because we're driving manually we want to be careful that we go to this drop-off point here uh, I can choose it just for the positioning at the base I can tell it to click on play and it'll go to that station and you'll see it is empty so it'll start to count this I'll switch it back to manual so the train doesn't disappear on us there's nowhere to go anyway and we'll nip back to the mall top up on our, our various things Yeah, so the example there, this is where we can benefit from the uh, transport moving us along. We want to go in that direction and go faster if we do that. Stand on the belt, like those travelling walkways at airports. Oh, I don't know if we want that belt immunity, but uh, it's there if we need it. So I've got a hundred miners, we'll see if well, we're certainly going to get a lot there, aren't we? Uh, not really quite so many pylons. We need more of these inserters. I, I don't know if we need white ones, but we'll get them. And uh, we'll top up on signals, I think. And the other type of signals, range, rail chain signal reads the next signals in the path, you see. You get a bit of foresight along the track, or at least the trains do. Uh, while I'm here, maybe I'll plunk down the mall blueprint again to apply the latest research items so we can build other stuff. Um, Let's see, see what occurred. I'm thinking it's going to be, yeah, we're starting to branch into this region here. So we don't have power. Um, let's get our nanobots. So what we got, we got 500 rail, should be enough for this first copper mine. And or should we tap them up bottom here just to be safe? Yeah, gathered a lot of stone I don't want in my backpack. Yes, yeah, so he has the uh, assembly machines kick in, you start to use the resource, obviously. Nanobots up. Oh. Let's just drop off this stone. <laughs> All this stone. Oh, I did have to kill, you know, kill some rocks, didn't I? Get it in hand and we'll give it these. These furnaces want stone anyway, so we'll drop it directly in them. And that gets rid of it from our inventory. And we'll get some nanobots. Get our um, fall, <laughs> and then uh, boxes. We needed a few more boxes, didn't we? Certainly need some for the train station up there at the copper mine. 
and the copper drop off point. What did we need? Uh, we got train, got intersection, we've got nanobots, we've got boxes, we've got stack, we've got those. Uh, I will grab some more um, of the large electric pylons with none. Get a few more of those, why not? Some of these blueprints we'll put down for the uh, <coughs> remote station will be comprised of yellow transport belts. We'll upgrade those to the red, the faster ones, as needed. Get back. So just while I'm doing this, um, just a reminder, if you're enjoying these, this series, you know, give it a like, give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you aren't already for more um, on my channel that uh, I do play a, quite a variety of games from retro to modern so please uh, check those out as well I'd appreciate that you might enjoy them hope you will let's get some boxes in but yeah Factorio has been a labor of love for the past year um, just getting to know what works. It's a very free form. You build what you want, where you want, as long as you've got the resources, but getting it optimal, that's the challenge. And I am by no means an expert. Let's see the fuel level. What, what fuel have you got left? Let's go left. I have my mouse, let's see, you can see speed on the right, speed st statistics, kills, yeah, if you get biters on the on the track, or me if I stumble across the track at the wrong time, you'll get a kill, they run over biters. I've heard of people setting up their defence perimeter around their base, purely consisting of many, many lanes of trains going backwards and forwards. Yeah, encouraging the buyer to try and get through this. It's like, like Frogger Extreme, isn't it? I don't think I'll be bothering with that kind of idea. Um, the the biters on this, the settings from the first video we covered, uh, the setup for this map was the the biters aren't going to be evolving or pestering us so much. They're not actively coming out and seeking. seeking us out they will they will um, retaliate if provoked of course so we'll just assign an upgrade if we want the robots to say go and upgrade all these yellows to red I have to remember to fill in that train track when we get back this way let's just focus on the mines get this resource started hey Upgrade all this yellow to red before we build them once. Uh, blue, I'm not ready for a blue track yet. I've upgraded you twice, haven't I? That's destined to be blue, what's that about? Can I downgrade you? Oh, uh, let's, let's go back to the manual way. It's funny, when you, when you get this far in to automation, and you suddenly have to go back to basics, like in the real world, I guess. You've forgotten how to do it. Let's just see. Okay. Let's make sure I've got these as, as red. stand in between hopefully so I don't get in the way or get trapped I've run out of miners look 
And we can bring we can bring some power down, I think, off this line. And get those ticking. And we'll need that over here anyway. I think we're just preempting that the power would follow the train line once we've resolved that anyway, but we'll just preempt it. There we go, we've got some power to the uh, got that track built, power to the existing miners and there we go. So we're going to start. Have I not got any boxes? I've only got them up here. Oh no! Well, yeah, because we... W oh, we haven't got power there either. Anyway, let's bring some across. Let's see. Got power. Power. Yep. Yep. Oh well. Let's fill out this train track and these gaps. I can click in there manually. Click once and drag a certain amount and fill those gaps in. I can go off, I can curve it, you know, I can, I can hold shift and it will get some crazy loops going on and this by such means do you fashion some fancified train systems. I tend to keep them fairly simple and angular. I built one I don't want there. That's from our original blueprint. Let's see about connecting this up there to there, let's think. So let's see, we'll get one of these. Make our way le well, level. Let's think where our intersection is going to be. Got to be on this line. Let's hold it there and then drag across so we keep the line. Yeah, it's going to be overlapping, isn't it? So we'll destroy this uh, topmost section of this. Set it for destruction, let the robots do that. So yeah, my my tracks in the main around the majority of the map <coughs> will be these angular kind of monstrosities, but they work, you know. Good. Let's see. So let's just see if we're connected up. So we haven't called this copper mine copper mine north west, and we don't really want quite that name. <coughs> Got a bit of a close knit set of things there and signals go round. Let's zoom out a bit so we're careful. So yeah we've got a loop here, let's see. <coughs> nice. And we would stop at there. And let's just see this in effect. So you see they put it in the boxes, when the train arrives these ones offload it. We don't bother here about white ones you may notice. The component is just green and green. Uh, we should only send trains here that want copper copper ore and uh, that's where this is going to get it from it's going to I mean <clears throat> just look at map mode a minute it's going to uh, only fill up this carriage uh, the carriage can hold oops uh, I think it's 2000 units of copper could be two and a half I can't remember That's the idea. Um, back to character. Let's um, let's see if he can get back to base on his own. Yeah, he seems to have a path. It's plotted a path. There you go. He's heading this way. Go on here. See. See the arrows indicating his intention. 
go this way, go this way. Character Mundo. Now he's got a uh, criteria. Um, I need more boxes, don't I? I've got a bit of path making material, I might just put a bit up there, it's going to be a frequent trip. That would be good if we can get there as quickly as possible. Boxes, 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 here we go. And get, get, up, get them all. And I need more miners, don't I? Really? Well, there's plenty, but uh, it would be nice to fill it up, wouldn't it? with what it wants um, I think of anything else guys what did I need paths perhaps yeah hmm. I don't know let's get the path and the stone bricks in hand and uh, I'll gather some more just while I'm here. They're not being used by the um, assembly machines at the moment, <clears throat> at least not heavily. And um, I don't know, let's put a bit of a path here. We seem to be traversing this quite commonly. And uh, we'll go up, follow the poles, power poles. <coughs> Just finish off to see if there's any boxes missing here, shall we? I think we got them all. Make sure our base is in order before we start bringing in trains. Going to need that refueling soon. Um, I don't know what train at station. We've probably got one. <coughs> what did it call it? Lemming. We could, yeah, we could temporarily send it to Lemming. Don't jump off the the edge there. And what we do for the target station is we say uh, full cargo or inactivity of five seconds so if there's when it arrives if there's nothing there nothing happening it'll just come back to base that's good so did i <clears throat> yeah i got on the train let's send us on our merry way there we go i think it's night time so we've got our headlights on The lovely scenery of the colourful autumnal trees there. <clears throat> They're autumnal all year round, I think, on this game. <clears throat> so this is the route the train would take <clears throat> once I leave it to its own devices. I'm not going to walk in front of it. It might set off. See how it's progressing. Uh, But I'll set it to manual, I don't want to be <coughs> stranded here at the moment. Make sure we've just got this built. We've got nanobots on, they're going to do the upgrades. That's surplus, don't need things above the miners. Surplus, uh, upgrade. Oh, one too far. Get the miners looking good. Let's see. Catch a ride. And again, the splitter's there to evenly distribute 
because you know you've got lanes here of miners which are perhaps shorter than others won't provide as much material so just a bit of a minor no nod to that to try and balance the feed onto both these lanes here and this splitter is just to split some to these grasping claws and some this way to these ones so yeah the train look it's getting up there one and a half thousand one point seven this one should be full and they stop when they're full no room at the end so we've got 2000 capacity and if you look at the train it'll tell you what its total cargo content is on the right there halfway down 7.7 thousand .7, i think it's 8000 max what we could do then is once that's full we could jump on and we'll get back to the base with the train yeah just check these have all stopped in terms of output to the train and the boxes themselves let's have a look at one they can hold many 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 items probably oh well, is it it's a bit less than those is it one and a half thousand each something like that what we do is look at one that's full 1.6 thousand yeah the one that's full there's no activity on there's no space no space so they stop and so these will gradually stop as they fill up so that's the idea at this the base of leaving them some time to carry on doing this while i've just collected hordes of material from them they want to restock don't they so we'll let them do that with that time allowance so we'll go back to should we rename it while we're here no we don't want it called lemming <coughs> So we'll call it Copper Mine West of Base 1, it's the first one we're dealing with. And yeah, I could, um, it's not Copper Plates, it's Copper Ore. So you've got Inbound at the base, this Copper Ore, apply that one and we've now got the Copper Mine and which one it is. Uh, we could change its colour so that it's, what's Copper? Let's similar. Whatever the case, better than it was. Could, we could change the colour of the train. <coughs> what numbers did you have? 25517171. Just type in the number 17771, something like that. 171, wasn't it? Whatever. It's close. Eesh. Right, anyway, we'll go back to base. And once we've done this, we'll um, get out of the train, let him carry on doing that job. And he'll keep coming back and forwards until, well really, till he fills up the base boxes. And because we're not utilizing that resource at the moment in the base, uh, that will happen. So we'll get out and let him do his thing. Now I know, He's going to wait 75 seconds. He's em Has he emptied his cargo? No, you know what I've not done? Uh, this is a circuit network. Um, we researched this earlier and it allows you to control these electronic elements such as inserters with some precision but we don't have this in stock don't have a combinator to set that's going to set a master switch in a way to say everybody connected and they're connected using uh, green wires or other wires to distinguish from these power pole wires copper wires everybody in that circuit network set also set your filters to copper so you kind of an easement saves you setting them all manually but of course I need the, 
the device that does the triggering. And uh, here we go to the mall to get that. <coughs> it's um, over here in this area. Let's see. These red guys, constant combinators they're called. We'll grab them. And uh, yeah, we will be encountering some of these needs as we progress. Let's at least have some of each on our on our body. Yeah, so here we've got um, steel chest being built, and uh, <coughs> this should actually be a builder of red chests. You see, it's got the resources it needs. There we go. So that will come into play later. This one uh, should be yellow. So we'll get that building some of those. Um, <coughs> how many? 50? 50? Don't want it building an infinite amount. Let's see. Got lights there we could plunk down. Should we have some light on the situation? Let's get some. And the bots, you see, just placed a few around the mall that are preset to be there. So at night time, they'll come on. It's like those old Honda adverts where the, the lamppost only switched on as the card approached. It's power efficiency, guys. Building a, a massive factory here. Yeah, so the default for those is to uh, only come on at night. So let's get this combinator in. And you see there instantly it feeds out that signal down the line to be you pick up copper or from said train. We've got this beautiful ribbon effect going on and it's stopped. So it's filled up the, the lanes, the transport belts. And it's just going to continue now and fill, fill up these boxes that we've got as holding points here. So this is good, we've got, um, I can be more relaxed now. What we can do actually, we can take, if we've got enough, um, got enough lanes, let's look at, we said we're going to try and feed this to our existing resource. Um, let's see. Let's So we can make a decision actually, we could uh, we could take two of those transport belt lanes from the train supply and feed it along here and down and up into this secondary input of the splitter. Let's get that upgraded to a red while I'm here. Um, and the same on this side. And then these will carry on and as they as they diminish in their resources though they've still got plenty actually some of these inner ones 70,000 yeah they're gonna last a while but sometimes it's good to have a dual feed into here such that we can build longer and higher and higher in this case uh, sets of furnaces and and the resource will still manage to get up the lane <laughs> sometimes you have to build it where you have another input coming from the, the top depending on your orientation of this, but from the top to feed in down from this way. So you'd have a reversed um, set of tr uh, transport belt coming down here, because no matter what you do, these these furnace, furnaces generate their output very quickly, so they grab often off this lane. So you have too many, and these belts are only so fast. The items would never get as far as you not not infinitely so they're never going to get all the way up here if you've got furnaces grabbing all the way up you just don't have enough so what what do, what should we do um <clears throat> i think i might bypass the i could feed them you see directly onto this line here and this line or i've got two have i got two constructs yeah, I think I'll feed them directly into the splitters. Let's see, I could work in reverse, perhaps. Like this. I don't, so I want to be careful I don't drop onto that one. Let's make sure I go across. 
and let's go up, come down. There, probably we've got 95. Let's see how... <clears throat> no, let's go to the mall, get stocked up on those before I suddenly run out about a one belt short. <clears throat> Dropping in some lights, where are we? There. Not got much space for belts actually. <clears throat> in my inventory. Yeah, once we get those power suits, we'll have more space. Uh, gonna need this one as well, aren't we? Now, shall we come this way? You've got to have a two space to turn. That's surplus anyway. That's from an old provision, isn't it? Let's see, we're bringing this down. We're bringing this one. Can't go across that distance. You can go across the top. This way. Let's just do something like this. <laughs> I'm actually low on there. Uh, underground, aren't I? We're not going to merge them onto one line. We want to keep that unique feed. We've got four lanes to play with. Don't need to merge them. this up a bit. Let's copy a section and paste. Oh, not the corner. And the bots will build. Where should we go? It's up this lane, isn't it, really? <coughs> Want to do these left, leftmost. Plunk that down over our path. A nice path that we just built. Oh dear. I'm not gonna have enough, am I? Damn it. I'll give a gap. A gap in case I want to send some other lane of something there. Without needing a undergroundy. Let's let's ghost this in. Rotate, oh, wrong key. Yep, we need more transport belts, and then we should be able to get this flowing. But maybe this video has gone on long enough. Too long for many, I suspect. <laughs> um, get some more bots. So we'll just get this done and then we'll call it a day. So at least we can say we've got the beginnings of our train solution. Feeding in resources from remote mines up and running. Let's tick one off. We've got copper done, let's say. And uh, we're on our way then to the next one. Get the iron sorted in the same fashion. Oh, I didn't pick up the undergroundies. My bad. There we go, we've got this nice flow from the train into our base. So if you made it this far into the video, well done. Thanks for sticking with me. 
Um, there will be more. There's, there's some previous to this, um, but if you've come this far, you might not be bothered. Uh, but as I say, thanks very much for watching. Um, you've got, I've got other videos, other game types, quite a variety from retro to modern, on my channel. Please check those out if you if you would. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.